the reason that HIV was invented as the cause of AIDS is it was a way to get research money. That's how you get big bucks. That's how you get research grants yes. to fund your laboratories and your research. In other words, if AIDS is caused by behavior, mm -hmm. then the, the, there's no money in that because you just tell people, hey, stop doing the behavior. But So that's why they have to find some bug that they can blame it on. We've got to kill this thing. We need billions of dollars of research to kill this thing. So we're chasing after something, Dr. Duesberg. Even if we got it neutralized, it wouldn't do a single solitary thing to stop the AIDS epidemic. Now, last question. Yeah. i got to get to this question before we're done. What does cause what we know as AIDS? What, what, what I know is AIDS, whatever they call AIDS, what is, up, what is abnormal Diseases like pneumocystis, pneumonia, and diarrhea, and dementia in, in, in 20 to 30 old, year old men and women in the U.S., in Europe, in Asia, and even the few that fit that deficient, this, uh, definition in Africa is recreational drugs like cocaine, heroin, amphetamines in the U.S. Has, uh, the, the CDC even reports that intravenous drug use is half of all AIDS patients, and the most rest of the other half is male homosexuals, but not your all-American male homosexual from next door, but it's the one who have the, what they call cruising, who have hundreds, often thousands of sexual contacts in a short time, and they can only accomplish that, like our Olympians break records now in the, in the Olympics, by taking tons of drugs. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.